Hey, morning everyone. Well, I'm in the garage, as you guys can maybe tell there. Anyway, it's time to uh, fix something on the car. So uh, I'll bring you guys along for that. It's going to be my first time trying to do this. So uh, hopefully all goes well. So uh, let's see what we're doing today. Making its YouTube debut. It's our 2005 Honda Civic LX automatic. So uh, what's going on with this one? I got to do a rotor and pad change, which isn't a big deal. I've done those many times. Let's see. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see that. There's some oil there, oil there. So it's probably the oil pan or the oil pan gasket, but either way, uh, our oil pan is uh, pretty rusted. So I'm just gonna replace both. So uh, first things first, jack up the car and drain the oil. Alright, so here I am under the car. You can tell there's oil on the exhaust there. And well, it's on going back, I guess, because we've been driving it. Now, well, uh, here we go. Here's the oil pan under here. And there's, well, like I said, it's all rusted. Uh, Alright, so now, as I said, uh, let's uh, empty the oil. Okay, so the oil's all drained. And I do have to take the exhaust off, so I'm going to have to take off these two bolts. And probably take this off to lower it a little bit more. And I was looking a little bit more. I don't know if you guys, okay, let's see. Here we go, there's the oil pan here. It goes underneath here. This looks like a uh, transmission mount of sort. Hooks up up there. And along here and up there so I'm assuming I'm gonna have to take that off because there's no way I can get to the rest of it so I'm gonna attempt to take those off all right well got the exhaust off but issue number one this spring bolt well, obviously flange is rusted off from there that one seems to be one piece with it I hate rust Whoever's living in areas where they can work on cars where there's no rust, you guys are so lucky. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that when I put it back together, but I guess I'll deal with that when I get there. Now to uh, get this transmission mount off. Alright, so I got that bracket that was here, which is, uh, looked it up, is the engine stiffener. So now just to take all those rusted bolts off. And I think I'm okay to reach... There's that one over there. And this one. Let's see, I think there's one way over there. Where is it? Yeah, over there. That one might be a little bit more of a challenge. May have to remove uh, the shift linkage cable there. So, yeah, I'll start getting that done. Alright, to make it easy on myself, uh, I can reach it now. Uh, yeah, there's that shift linkage cable or shift cable, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the only thing hiding it was, uh, was like this metal plate thing, you know? So I remove that, and that gives me room up there. So now, uh, time to take the oil pan down. Well, success. Look, there's the oil pan. There's underneath the block. So now, um, yeah. Some of the stuff that you need to do to be able to access it, which I didn't know. But uh, let's see if I can find the parts here. There's a metallic plate here. That, uh, well, kind of sits up there, right? Uh, the cable's supposed to be in front of it. Here, let me see. There you go. So that sits like that. That holds a. Uh, there we go, it 
goes in like that. So it holds in the uh, that end of the oil pan as well. So to remove that, I had to remove the little bracket that goes right here. There's like two bolts. And then there's one bolt that holds the uh, shifter, like linkage thing, onto that pin there. So once that was removed, oil pan just came right off. Wish I would have known that before. But anyway, to take that little metal bracket off, I mean, uh, when I took off that uh, engine stiffener, there was a bolt here that was holding it in place, and the other two, and then all I had to do was remove, uh, where is it? Another bolt right up here. So that took off that little metal plate. Oh yeah, definitely necessary to get that off. So now I'm just gonna clean the block and everything and uh, prep the new oil pan. Ooh, look at that. All right, so there's the new oil pan. There's a new gasket. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna put some of this stuff underneath the gasket. It's gonna hold it in place while I put it up. So yeah, I'm gonna set that up and then put the oil pan back on. All right, check it out. Oil pan's on. I have to uh, add that little plate right here as I was saying, and the other attachments. And now, for the exhaust. Well, I went down to uh, a local parts store, got myself this flange. So all it is, right, it's a, a two-piece flange, you hook it up. So uh, unfortunately though, they didn't have any spring bolts, so I have to wait for that. So all I'm gonna do is uh, probably just MacGyver something till, uh, what was it, Tuesday? So today's Saturday, so gets things done so at least I can connect it together so I can put oil back in the car test it out so it's not you know crazy loud or anything so uh, yeah now I'm gonna put the rest of the stuff back on the car all right so here's the progress here's the uh, engine stiffener that's back on uh, there was this piece under here it's back on and the little box that covers the uh, shift cable all right, well, that's pretty much everything for the oil pan. Now back to the exhaust. You know, as I mentioned earlier, things broke, whatever. So here we go. I did my little hack job here. It's not good looking, but it works. And now just to put that, uh, like, uh, aftermarket flange and uh, hook everything up. So anyway, let's see if I can find it. Well, here we go. So here it is, you know, it's in two pieces. That actually goes behind there. Oops. So there's two pieces, one that goes there, one that goes on the other side, and whatever. Then, well, uh, since uh, I want it drivable till Tuesday, I had these uh, extra parts that I had laying around. They're extra big. But hey, guess what? It's gonna work till the meet time. So I'll uh, hook all that up and I'll show you when I'm done. All right, so there we have it. Job complete. You can see the flange in the back there. My uh, kind of well, spare part uh, spring bolts. There we go. Well, hopefully this will uh, help people out. Uh, you know, I ran into a few problems, some stuff I didn't know, but, I mean, hey, it's all fun and games when you're learning anyway, I don't mind. So, anyway, uh, hope you guys liked it, hope it helped, and, uh, we'll talk to you guys later.